for the Arasio Imperata for peace. God, our Heavenly Father, Lord of peace and justice, we humbly come before you during this time of escalating geopolitical tensions in our part of the world. Through the years, you have sustained our faith in you as a nation. It is our faith in your divine providence that has made us survive the countless natural and human-caused calamities that have come our way in our history as a people. Spare us, Lord, from the horrors of war. Hear our pleas as we cry out to you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Rescue us from the benevolent forces that influence world leaders, for we believe that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We pray for our leaders entrusted with making crucial decisions for our nation. We place all our hopes in you, seeking your forgiveness and mercy for the times when our fears and suspicions have tainted our perceptions with ethnic biases and prejudices verging on racism. We earnestly pray, Lord, that you make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, Saint Michael, the Archangel, Saint Joseph, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calungsod, Saint Sebastian. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate Christ's mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to you my, my brothers brother. and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come, that with you to protect us, we may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins, and with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation, who lives and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, but a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere words condemn a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale, when his children see the work of my hands in his midst. They shall keep my name holy, they shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the, of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let be done for you according to your faith. At, and their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our journey to uh, Christmas, During this Advent time, the church gives us this reading, two blind people. I don't know if you have experienced losing sight for a while. To lose sight is quite a trial. And these two men, therefore, when they see the possibility for Jesus to cure them, they were so insistent. And when Jesus asked them, do you have faith? Yes, they are ready to have faith in Jesus in order to be cured. Indeed, for us, um, for most of us, we, we are seeing with our eyes. The question is, do we see God? Do we see as God sees in our daily life, in the way we relate in our family? Do we have the eyes of God to see? In our workplace, do we see as God sees? And whatever we do in our day, where is the light of the Lord? It's possible, therefore, that Suddenly, like those uh, two blind people, we discover that we are blind. In fact, we do not see. We do not see. One of the signs of it is to be anxious about life. One of the signs of it is agitation. One of the signs of it is also to be into addictions running from one place to another in order to fulfill our addictions to food, to internet, whatsoever. And in fact, to, when we are able to see that we do not see, so at that time we are like these two blind people. We are asking the Lord, Lord, give me the grace to see. And the sign that we receive this grace is that we will be like those lowly ones who will find joy in the Lord, and the poor who rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. And also, those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding. We will be able to say, Oh Lord, I'm taking the wrong way. And those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Lord will guide you, will tell you, oh, do that. Oh, read that. Oh, smile to this person. The Lord will instruct you. So this light will become a life, a life with the Lord. So let us not be ashamed today to be like these two blind people and earnestly to ask the Lord, Lord, today make me see, today at least, make me see. 
And Jesus will say, do you really have faith? And that will be our answer for each one of us. May the Lord give us this light today. Let us beseech the Lord to open our eyes, that we may see clearly the path that leads to, the, to his kingdom, and to judge wisely the things of earth, and to hold firm to the things of heaven. Let our response be, Lord, enlighten the eyes of your people. Lord, enlighten the eyes of your people. Pray, Lord, for our church and civil leaders. May they have eyes and ears for the needs and supplications of your people, especially of the poor and those who suffer injustice. We pray. Lord, Lord enlighten, enlighten the, eyes the eyes of, of your, your people. people. We bring before you, Lord, those who are suffering much pain and discomfort. In your grace and mercy, raise them back into full health and strength, we pray. Lord, Lord enlighten, enlighten the, the eyes, eyes of, of your, your people. people. Lord, come into our lives and heal our blindness of unbelief. May we turn away from sin and trust in you, our Savior, we pray. Lord, Lord enlighten, enlighten the eyes, eyes of, of your, your people. people. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful life. Forgive us if sometimes it seems that we do not love it enough and so fail to praise you, we pray. Lord, Lord enlighten, enlighten the eyes of your people. Lord, heal in us whatever needs healing. Heal our memory, emotions, spirit, and soul, we pray. Lord, Lord enlighten, enlighten the eyes of, of your, your people. people. Lord our God, bless us with a clear conscience and blameless conduct. May we be found worthy to be on the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, 
and since we have no merits to plead our code. Come, we pray to our rescue with the protections of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels and thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.